My name's S Rob and this is S Rob's Magic Magazine and I want to talk about reality. The reason I want to talk about that is because it's often lost on people. That at its basis occultism is about reality and the nature of reality. And it's often the case that people come to understand what the class is a high level magic without truly internalising the fact that it's about the nature of reality. Uh, in some way you could link it with uh, René Descartes and he believed that, I think therefore yeah, basically that he could imagine the world outside wasn't real. Okay, Even his physical body wasn't real, but the fact that he could think that meant that that part of him that could think it was real, think was real. I think therefore yeah, I'm Kajita Ergo Sum. If you go a little bit further and we accept that things exist, then from that train of thought we're really talking about the power of thought. Okay, and that's what a lot of occultism is about. It's about the power of thought, and people lose that, and therefore about the nature of reality. But an interesting thing has happened is that science has caught up with what occultism has known for thousands of years. Nobody really believes that everything's solid anymore. You know, people believe that there's more space, for instance, than there is solid in my hand. You know, and even then, the nature of reality is a lot of people believe that it's just you know information and things like this. So it's finally caught up with what. Occultists have known. A lot of course have done that and discovered in a different form, you know. Occultism didn't really produce equations and things like that. Uh, for that, at least not as occultists. So what we've got is the nature of reality, you know, about thought and the power of thought and will. You know, because I know it doesn't make sense still to a lot of people that thought and will and even emotion have their own power outside of the physical world, you know. We're all taught to not be silly. Especially when you're a kid, don't be silly, you know. It's, you know, this is this, this is you and that's it. And it's not really true at all, you know. Uh, and that means that you have to know that your will has power to change the world. But you normally got to use the right technique, alright. Uh, although that's not to say there's only one technique, you know. There's, there's a potentially endless amount of techniques you could use. Okay, but you need to use a technique that works. And this means that, of course, when people do large rituals... That a lot of people have missed that you can visualize those rituals and they still work you know you have to have a good sense of visualization to make that work but you can so you know it's it's a different view of reality it's about the nature of reality the fact that we can change it alter the world around us that's really the basis of it it's the basis of it is reality and that's a strange thing because when occultism is attacked you know it's always attacked from the perspective of well you know you don't really know this you know, it, you, you know, it's not, this isn't how the real world works. But it's actually about how the real world works. That's what it's about. You know, that is the whole basis of the subject. And it isn't the basis of all subjects, you know. There's many subjects which aren't pure mathematics. You know, you, it's not really based on how the world works. It's a completely independent system, you know. Where well, the whole basis of occultism is reality. You know, and the power of thought. And when you think about it, all you can really prove is thought. So it's not that strange. You can't prove that anything else exists. You know, if someone says, well, I have physical evidence of this, what they've actually got is evidence of they've experienced something or that someone else has, you know. That's all that you never have, which is just thought. So when you think about that in a philosophical way, the fact that your thought would have power makes sense because that's all there is. There isn't anything else, you know. What looks solid is just a thought of something solid okay gives you something to think about you know but do realize the power of your own thought your own will your own emotion these things are the real things in the world this is the real stuff you know the other things we don't know about you know but we do know that that's real okay thanks a lot